Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is Sean, the owner and lead tutor of Math Swap Tutoring. And in this video, I'm going to talk about roots. Um, you want to make sure that you watch the video that I, I recorded talking about what a root actually is. Specifically, now I'm talking about rational and irrational roots. Um, pretty simple stuff if you already kind of know what rational and irrational numbers are. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I still have notes up here from the previous video. Um, this should be relatively short and sweet. All right. So we're going to call this um, rational. Roots. And then I'll say irrational right here. And note, if you are a subscriber to Mass Swap Tutoring, which you can you can go to, um, let me write down here, math swap, excuse me, tutoring.com forward slash subscribe. If you go there, you can actually get free downloadable notes. I have notes that I make whenever I record these videos and you can go and download notes um, that I create to make these videos. Um, I always encourage you to make your own notes, but you can take my notes and copy them down or read over them over and over again. And I believe that'll be helpful as well. All right, so what are rational roots? Really, the, the, the key question is, what is a rational number? Um, because it's pretty much the same, <clears throat> the same kind of definition. So a rational root is, or, or rational roots are roots that are perfect nth powers of x so basically um a, so a rational root is a root that's a perfect nth power of x so basically what that means is when you take the square root of or you take a root nth root of x then the number that you get is basically a whole number so um so say for example we talked about you know, maybe the classic one, square root of four. Now, this is not, we're not just talking about square roots. This is also any other, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth roots or whatever. So the square root of four is two. So you take the square root of this and the root that you get is a whole number. It's a perfect. So two is a perfect n equals two. So it's a perfect second power of four. You see what I'm saying? So two times two gives you exactly four. And again, so again, like we said, the cube root of eight is two. That so two is a perfect cube root of eight. Um, the square root of one forty four is twelve. So twelve is a perfect, perfect uh, square root of one hundred and forty four. Okay, so that's what that is. Um, and remember this. So let me put this here. Remember. Remember that a rational number um, is basically a whole number or a number whose decimal form terminates or repeats. So basically, a rational number is a whole number, um, like two or 12 or whatever, or it's a number whose decimal form terminates or repeats. So like, for example, an example of a decimal that terminates is 0 0.5. In other words, it doesn't go on and on and on. It's just one that one place after the decimal or 0 0.125. Um, a decimal that repeats would be like 0 0.333 repeated. In other words, it's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. That's the, that's the decimal form of one third. 
Um, but this is also rational, okay? Or if you had 0 0.252525, you know, and that, that repeats on and on. That's another example of a rational number. So basically a rational root kind of follows that same kind of um, uh, philosophy, if you will. Now let's compare because it's always good to learn about something by learning about the opposite of it. So an irrational root is, or irrational roots are roots that are not perfect nth powers. of x okay so so for example if you want to take the square root of five what time what number um what number if you multiply it times itself twice will give you five there is no perfect number because there is no just like how two times two is four there is no whole number that will give you um, five. So let's take the square root of five. I'm gonna take out my handy dandy TI 83. Um, and we're gonna take the square root of five. And it is equal to 2.23606797. And I'm sure it just goes on and on and on. Just the calculator is not, um, doesn't have a big enough screen to keep on showing you decimal points. This is not a perfect nth power or this is not a perfect uh, square root of x because it's just a decimal that goes on and on and on and on okay so you know same would go if you do the the square root of 16 so what times what i mean cube root is what i mean to say we know that the square root of 16 is four because four times four gives you 16 but what times what times what to give you six, uh, 16? And we can't really do that. Um, let me see, do I have that in my calculator? Um, oh, I'm gonna end up, I don't wanna, oh, here it is. So four, so the cube root of 16 according to my calculator is 2.51988. Four two. So this is not a perfect cube root, okay? And so remember, here's your remembrance for irrational roots. An irrational number, we're talking about just the numbers in general, not roots right now, but a rational number is a number whose decimal form does not terminate or repeat. So all that means is it's like a decimal that goes on and on and on and on. Like for example, that's why pi um, and the constant E are both irrational because they just go on and on and on 2.71828 and those just go on and on and on they're irrational they're not like whole numbers or they don't they don't repeat like a like a rational number would or they don't terminate like a rational um decimal would okay all right so that's all i have for this video hopefully this is helpful make sure i encourage you to watch the video over and over again um because sometimes kind of like seeing something over and over helps to generate understanding, share, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel because I do plan on having lots of Algebra 1 videos because it seems like a, a subject that a lot of people want help in. And um, subscribe, mathswaptutoring.com forward slash subscribe to get the downloadable notes. And if you need tutoring, make sure you reach out to us. You can see how to sign up at mathswaptutoring.com or you can go to Calendly, C A L. E -N -D -C -A -L -E -N -D -L -Y dot com forward slash math. Sorry, swap tutoring and sign up.
or you can call four seven eight two five one zero five one five. Is it? Hold on. Is it two five? I think it's two five four zero five one five. Sorry about that. And talk to us, and we'll get you set up. We'll be glad to help. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching this video, and um, you know, have fun. Have fun with math. I love math, and I hope that I can help you to love math as well. All right. Let's see if I can stop this video.